Hi everyone, my name is Victoria. I'm the social media contributor to Core and welcome in another episode of Core Academy. Though Ethereum was once a proof of work chain after its famous merge, it transitioned to a proof of stake consensus mechanism. You might have some questions about how this mechanism functions and how it's related to the delegated proof of stake and utilized by the core chain Satoshi Plus consensus. This will be the focus of today's video. We'll provide a high level overview of proof of stake, discussing its role in securing various blockchains and how miners can delegate their proof of stake to help secure the core chain. So what is proof of stake? Proof of stake is a consensus mechanism implemented by some blockchain network as an alternative to the energy intensive proof of work system. Unlike proof of work, which requires miners expand energy in searching for the solution to a kind of mathematical puzzle to confirm transactions and add them to the new block, proof of stake achieves consensus through a process in which validators are selected to create a new block based on the number of tokens they have and are willing to put up as collateral. The proof-of-stake approach reduces the amount of computational work needed to secure the network by a significant margin, leading to lower energy consumption. In a proof-of-stake system, the likelihood of an entity being picked to create the next block varies by the amount of the cryptocurrency the validator has staked. The more coins a participant stakes, the better their chances of becoming a validator. This stake acts as a form of security deposit. Validators who act dishonestly or fail to validate transactions correctly can have a portion of their stake slashed, meaning they lose some of their holdings as a penalty. This incentivizes validators to act in the network's best interest. Beyond just reducing energy consumption, Proof of Stakes also aims to solve other issues associated with Proof of Work, such as the risk of centralization from mining pools. By allowing anyone with an actual stake in the protocol to be a part of the consensus process, Proof of Stake opens up the opportunity for more widespread participation, which can help to decentralize the network further. Proof of Stake is not without its criticism and challenges. Concerns include the potential for nothing at stake attacks, where validators might try to exploit the system by supporting multiple blockchain histories to maximize their rewards. Despite these concerns, many believe proof of stake offers a promising way to secure blockchain networks more sustainably and equitably. As the blockchain space evolves, proof of stake continues to be a key area of innovation, with many newer and existing blockchains considering a switch to already implementing proof of stake. So what is delegated proof of stake? Delegated proof of stake allows all core token holders to vote and participate in the election of validators set by delegating their holdings to validator. Because there is only a very small minimum staking requirement, just one core token, all core holders can participate in the governance of the core network. Core token holders can delegate their core tokens to particular validators at stake.coredao.org. We'll have more information about what validators are and how they are elected in the future videos, but you can find more information in our white paper. The link is in the description. And there you have it. You should now have a good grasp of what proof of stake is and how it can be delegated to core validators. Be sure to check out other videos we made about basic concepts of blockchain and if you want to keep learning, stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.